You know what I miss? I miss 2015 YouTube, where people would film favorites videos, what's in my handbag videos. I really was 17 years old and I ate it up. So I've decided that today I'm gonna show you a bunch of my favorite things I've been loving recently. I know this is kind of rogue, but I miss seeing favorites videos in my subscription boxes. So I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. Regardless of how well it's gonna perform, purely for my own happiness, because like who doesn't wanna sit down and talk about a bunch of their favorite things? Do you know what I mean? Say hi everyone. <laughs> You hate me. I feel like I'm really channeling my 2017 year old self who had just freshly started her YouTube channel. Bless her. We wouldn't be here without her. If you saw last week's vlog, you would have seen me talk about this shirt and I have not taken it off since I bought it. This is a parent trap tee. It's from Redbubble. Honestly, just Redbubble's products in general. I also have this other Redbubble shirt that says I love hot mums, which I feel like is just quite iconic. We love the MILFs. I feel like any TV show, any meme, any quote, you search on Redbubble and they will have a shirt perfectly for it. They have so much other parent trap merch as well that I am this close to buying. I absolutely don't need it but I have been living in this t-shirt. It's the winery t-shirt of Hallie and Nick Parker's winery. I'm obsessed with it. I got it in a 3XL. I've been wearing it to bed every night. Like I just, this is like the most perfect shirt I've ever seen in my life. So I really struggle not having my head tucked behind my ears. So <laughs> we're just gonna have to deal with this. I have a new favorite perfume. A friend and I went into Mecca not too long ago and we were trying on a bunch of the perfumes and I came across Santal 33. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. And I sprayed it on the outfit that I was wearing and I just could not stop thinking about it. It was all that I could smell. That shirt I then took off, hung up in my wardrobe. The next day I opened my wardrobe door and it's all that I could smell in my wardrobe. Like it lasted so long and it smelled so good. I feel like it was the perfect mix of like femme and mask perfume in one. And so I googled how much it was and it was so expensive and it really broke my heart. So we researched some dupes and this is the one that came up. This is One by Jennifer Lopez. I will say it smells extremely similar. I feel like it's a bit more feminine than the Santal 33 and it doesn't last nearly as long as the actual one, which obviously makes sense if you're spending hundreds of dollars on a perfume that's going to last much longer than a $40 perfume from Chemist Warehouse. But just the smell wise, oh, it's so good. I feel like $40 is much more ideal than $400. So we'll take our little win with this one. I'll leave like the notes up on the screen here. I'm very bad at explaining scents, but it's so, so good. Actually, let's put the Stanley in the favorites video as well, because ever since I bought this, I have not strung out of anything else. <laughs> I hate to say that I love it. I delayed buying it for so long because it's an expensive big cup, but it has made drinking two liters of water a day so easy. I'm yet to put like coconut sugar or fizzy drinks in it yet but I already know that is going to be life changing but I'm just obsessed with this. I hate to say it. If you've been watching my weekly vlogs over the last few months you're probably so sick of hearing me talk about Akata but just the other day I finally finished the last book in the series. I finally read all five of them. These are by far the biggest books I've ever read in my life. The last book, Court of Silver Flames, that I just finished was over 800 pages which is so incredibly long. I will say reading long books on your Kindle I feel like is game changing because they don't feel as big as holding a huge physical book. I read the first Akata book as a physical copy and then the rest I read on my Kindle and I feel like the Kindle really changed the game. It feels quicker just tapping the side of the screen instead of flicking and flicking and always looking and seeing how much of the rest of the book you have to go. But this was my first fantasy read and I didn't necessarily think I wasn't a fantasy reader. I was just kind of scared to start. I didn't know where to start. I didn't know if it was going to be really hard to understand. I didn't know if I would like it. And also, I don't know if it's common, but the first book in this series was like the worst, in my opinion. And so it's kind of annoying that you have to like get through the first book because that's like world building and like you have to understand everything in the first book to then read the rest of the series. So overall, I really, really enjoyed this series. I kind of feel a little bit numb since finishing it. Like I don't really know what to do with myself anymore. It took me two and a half months to read the whole series. And so I just haven't read anything else. So long and I kind of just feel like I can't just move on with my life which I know sounds silly and I've heard so many people say that about this series and I didn't get it until now. I really really enjoyed it. I cannot wait for more books in this series to be written. There are so many characters that I want to know so much more about. Like I need a book on more right now. More is my wife I'm convinced and I need to know more about her. So overall I really enjoyed this series. If you haven't read fantasy and you've been wanting to would highly recommend. I definitely want to read more fantasy series in the future 
future. I really enjoyed and also meeting them on the Kindle is really just stunning. Also a pop socket on Kindle like well it's just 10 out of 10 from me. I'm gonna do some raving about Uniqlo for a quick second. I feel like we've all seen and heard about the Uniqlo crossbody bags. These are 10 out of 10. I think they're $19.99 each. They come in lots of other colors but I just got a black and a cream. I've been wearing these non-stop. I don't know how they do it but this is like a Mary Poppins bag. It fits so much in here. This bag fits my Kindle, my camera, my wallet, my lip balm, my car keys, literally everything I need. It's perfect. I took this as my carry-on bag on a domestic flight I went on recently and it just fit everything I needed and it was just perfect. And having black and cream just means every outfit I have. I have a crossbody bag to go along with it. But also from Uniqlo, I've really been needing some basic tees, but I feel like most basic tees are quite cheap and you wash them once and then the neckline goes all wrinkly and the material is just like thin and crinkles easily and I just hadn't found my perfect basic. And then someone told me to check out the Uniqlo men's tees and I'm so thankful that they did because these are literally the best. The fit is just the perfect boxy fit. I got mine oversized because that's how I like <laughs> literally all of my clothing. The material also just doesn't crinkle. Like I don't understand how, but it's so thick and soft that I don't know what is in it, but it just doesn't crinkle, which is literally all that you want in the t-shirt. So I got one in black and white and I've just been wearing them nonstop and I really couldn't rave about them enough to be honest. Okay, the next thing I have written down here is an app and it's called Quinn and I'm not gonna go into it. I'm not gonna explain it, but if you wanna elevate your self-care time, if you know what I mean, search on the app store, Quinn, read a little description. I really couldn't recommend it enough. Headphones on, curtains shut. You do have to pay, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure they do a free trial and I did the free trial and I did get hooked. So just have a little listen and then you can maybe thank me later. Do with that what you will. These are really dirty, so I'm kind of embarrassed to show them on camera. But a couple months ago, I bought my first pair of Hokas. I've heard people rave about these and I didn't really understand until I tried them on in store and they literally felt like I was walking on a cloud and I just kind of had to buy them immediately. Winston is so oh. Hey, I think Winston's excited because I'm holding up my walking shoes and he just knows and thinks he's getting a walk. But these shoes make me want to become a runner. Like I can't really explain it, but they are just so interesting incredibly comfortable. I know that they're expensive, but it's been quite a few years since I've owned a really good pair of runners. They make my walks with it 10 times better. I love how they look as well. And I kind of want to start running. So I might keep you updated on my running journey with the hookers, but obsessed. I really need to wash them. I'm so sorry I had to look at that. Okay. I don't know if this is a bit rogue to show, but I've owned these Skims bralettes for a couple years now. And I can't believe I haven't talked about them sooner because I literally wear them every day. I don't remember the last time I wore an actual bra. I'm just not a bra wearer. If I'm not wearing one of these, I'm wearing no bra because I I just can't stand it. So uncomfortable. So these are literally perfect because they, they hold the girls up without being uncomfortable. They make them look good enough. You know what I mean? I have this little triangle one that clips up at the back. The material is just so soft. Skims as a brand is just 10 out of 10. The color range, the size range, all of it. And then I have this one. It doesn't clip up at the back. It just, it's a classic bralette. I'm obsessed. I don't wear anything else other than these two, which I should probably buy some more because I have to wash them so frequently. But if you don't own anything from Skims, just like, from friend to friend would highly recommend. I also want to talk about the music I've been loving recently because Noah Kahan, Kahan, I don't know how to say his last name, but he released an extended version of his Stick Season album. And I feel like Stick Season came out quite a while ago and I am still so obsessed with it. And now an extended version will come out and I've just completely lost my mind about it. He added seven new songs to the album. One of them is a View Between Villages extended version, which has left me extremely unstable. I'm not well. I think my favorites are You're Gonna Go Far and No complaints but also like die or drunk oh I just I can't handle any of it I need him to come to Australia right this minute I feel like he's a bit different to a lot of the other music that I listen to he's very like folky and I've heard people say that Noah Kahan Kahan I'm so sorry for butchering that is for all of the Swifties who are really emotionally unstable <laughs> So that just kind of says everything you need to know. But if you're like, mm, I don't listen to folk music, that's not my vibe. I just, I just need you to just give him a chance and let me know how you go. Okay. And last one, by no means least, I just had to talk about this hoodie because again, if you've been seeing any of my content over the last few months, I have not taken this hoodie off. It's from South Street. I got it on pre-order. I think it's just an item that they have on their site for a while. Like I believe this was out last winter and I have it again this winter. Obsessed with it. The color of pink is a 10 out of 10. I got their larger size and it's the perfect oversized fit on me. It doesn't have any pockets. It's just got the plain little logo on the front. It says the word vacation. 
foundation stay down the bottom which I don't really know what that means to be fair but the quality is my favorite it's fluffy but not too fluffy the hood and neckline sits very nicely I'm normally not a hoodie girl because they choke me and I can't stand that feeling but I really enjoy how this neckline sits on me and I just haven't taken it off and I'm loving wearing my bright colors recently so this is really just filling my soul up you know I'm a big fan but those are all my favorites that I wanted to chat to you about today that was so fun I feel like maybe I just need to film whatever videos I feel like and re-enter my 2017 era I'm dehydrated from talking so much I'll try my best to find links and any information that you need about everything I just showed you down below but that's all I'll see you soon